farmer friend, singer songwriter, Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack of all trades, Chris Horn. And we're Those Taste Bud Guys. That one's technically the same. These two are the same ISO. That one's 50 points higher. I don't think it matters. Why I'll say if you change the viewfinder, it doesn't change the actual. I didn't go to school for any of that shit. I don't know. Hmm. Huh. If you all know, and I'm sure somebody does, you can put that in the comments. And then maybe the next time we say, hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us one more time. Then we might have a better look. Or at least it'd be easier on Lyle. I'm still waiting for my introduction. I'm Chris. Morgan's over on the other side, the camera. Hi. Uh-huh. Ah, man. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm wa That's Lyle. Yeah. My gosh, man. That's right. That's just always right. wanting all the attention. You can't just be about <laughs> me for once. Uh-uh. All right, hey guys, uh, seriously, thanks for joining us. Um, if you guys don't mind, click over on the like button and uh, that would help us a lot. And also uh, maybe go over to Hutchtown and check them out. Give them a like as well. Go see if you can find some of their product. Give it a sip for yourself. We really like it. We think you might as well. Hutchtown uh, is just fantastic. Yeah. I've been so pleased with those. And uh, the, those half empty bottles is me trying to nurse it. Yeah, no, we've been trying really hard not to knock them all out. We've got more bottles coming. Um, as a matter of fact, they should be here pretty soon and we get, a, get an interview. They're getting hand delivered this time. Yay. Um, other than that, what, what, are we, what are we doing? We're doing a Pisco. Pisco. Probably I usually do that before I get on camera. <laughs> I assume I'm saying that wrong, but I don't know. Maybe I'll be lucky this time. Um, this is a Peruvian slash Chilean uh, brandy. Wow. Made from grapes. So. It's been a minute since I, I have taken a sip of some of the Pisco's before. I don't know that I've had this one. I keep, think I have. Keep talking. I don't think that worked. I don't think what worked. The, uh, oh, you're going to cut it. Back it up. Put it in the middle of the camera. Tell it forward. Shake it around. I don't know. They work so good. For so long, so many episodes, they worked fine. They worked for one episode. No, they've worked for multiple, but we have called them out every single time we hold a bottle up. And it... Man, if any of y'all know anybody at Sony, just, oh, we need some help with this. It doesn't work. I did switch I was just one. saying, that's, that's my usual camera. Did it work there? Oh, you switched cameras around? I did. I switched sides. My oh, camera yeah, this pretty, one worked pretty, pretty good. good. I yeah. think that actually got clear. All right. I wanted to see if, if your camera side is better than mine. <laughs> because of the camera. Okay, whatever. You know, just checking. Because it's all about you. Yeah. All right. So, it, it, you said it's brandy. Yes. Sort of. But it's made from grapes, right? Yes. So, why isn't it wine? Um, I don't know. It's not even a fortified wine. I, I, wine's not really... Is wine fermented? I guess it kind of is, right? It's not distilled. Wine isn't no, distilled. Yeah, no. I mean, so, this is like a distilled wine, I think. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm picking. Okay. Up. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. It's got a really pretty nose on it, though. It does. Um, I'm glad we started with this one. Yeah, I figured it'd be pretty light in the flavor, too, but the nose is really nice. It's, it's a little sweet. But there's almost... Pleasant. It's, it does remind me a little bit of... Um... <laughs> Laundry detergent? Well, now... <laughs> I was I was more in the mode of wine, but like a, a sweet white or semi-sweet white wine. Yeah. Um, but there's a floral note to it that's just downy esque, right? Yeah, it's clean. I mean, it's like Febreze. It's a yeah, it's really super clean. <laughs> fermented oh, Febreze. Yeah, it's pleasant. So, but note wise on it, like you know those you flowery, know. almost like. A, Honeysuckles and, and you know uh, field flowers, just really nice. Do you remember the old magazines from the '90s that like had the perfume with all the pages stuck together? Yeah, with, yeah, <laughs> I remember those with the perfume sam samples like on sprayed on the little card that you could tear out. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, you couldn't afford the good magazine. I couldn't. I I, I, I had you whatever. Stole, you stole your mom. I had whatever was lying around. <laughs> yeah, I remember those. I guess that could be. You know, it kind of, and I know we had that apple wine earlier, and I'm, but I am hit getting a hint of like, a, like an apple blossom-ish, and that could be inferring from, it probably still my beard, if I'm going to be honest with you, but. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, huh. 
that flavor the, on the nose carries through to wow. the taste. Oh, you are tasting it? Yeah. Um, okay, that's where I get the laundry detergent Febreze Downy. Of the taste. Really flows through, but there's a burn behind it. Yeah. It's like you're drinking Febreze. And well, there's kind you're, of a, a dryer sheet film to it. This is probably the worst possible thing we could say. Yeah, no. This. I, yeah, it's, after saying it's actually pretty good. It's not that I don't like it. I do like it. I just, you know. Um, I still go with all the flowers and stuff. Now I'm thinking more like dandelion. I mean, which dandelions, if you've ever had like dandelion tea or anything like that, it is. What are you looking at? I was just checking cameras. Oh. See if there's leaned still... in real hard like something was going on. Well, I was, I, I was leaning out of frame. Like if I cut to that camera right now. You cut to that one. Out I of guess I have to. Yeah, I'm just some drive. <laughs> How about you just hold still? Oh, I can't. I got 80. So I, I still. <laughs> I don't. It's like if you went out and you mowed down a flower garden. Yes, yes. That's really what, but, and it's really pretty. And even the flavor has a nice flower garden flavor to it. So it isn't wine-like necessarily as far as what you would traditionally think of wines. And this is made from grapes. Um, Pisco's traditionally, I, I think, are most well known for the Pisco Sour cocktail. Um, I think that would he be- just read that, don't let you. Don't be thinking he did that. I did read. I did read it, but it is true. <laughs> it is true, um, and I presented it very well. Thank you. You did. Um, <laughs> um, I think that would go pretty well with this. I'm kind of interested. What in is trying to sir? I look at the recipe. I didn't. I assume it's like a whiskey sour, right? It's got to be just pisco and some yeah. sort of citrus sour mix, right? I doubt they have citrus sour mix in South America. Why? I don't know. You don't think they have citrus in South America? No, they have citrus. But we're like, like, I'm thinking of like the... You're thinking about the syrup. Yeah, the college. Neon green shit. Yeah. I, no, no, the, no, I'm thinking it's got to be like like a citrusy mix or something, right? That's for um, winter. So, they, yeah, I'm sure they've got something that's what they're... they're but this is a cheap bottle. This is 20, 20 inch bucks. dollars. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's pretty... It's hot. I'd say as far as if it, it most comparable to anything that you may have had out there, think of it as a Heidi proof, more flower floral gin without the juniper. So I was just getting ready to say, I bet this would make a hell of a martini with a twist. That would be an interesting thing. I would try that. Yeah. Maybe we should. Yeah. It's not, not tonight, but I mean. I think that would be. Because this is this. I know we've said that about several things. This is like Bombay, Bombay Bombay Sapphire, times ten on the floral the de floral department, but hotter. Yes, hotter. So. Yeah. Um. All in all, I don't hate it. Uh, I also like it because I don't think I would go through it that quickly. We've got a. Uh, <laughs> it would last on the shelf for a little a little bit. There's almost a lilac note to it. Yeah. I think it's what I keep going back to. That's probably why we keep, I keep saying, and you keep saying. Um, detergent and fabric softeners and stuff like yeah. that. I think it's that lie like a spring breeze for breeze. Spring breeze for dryer sheets. Um, improved. We've got some other uh, we have another piece goes back air yeah. and some other uh, sotals and stuff like that we're going to be doing here pretty soon. So um, if this one interests you, stay tuned. We'll have some more of those. Um, I don't know. I could say, I, as we always say, try it for yourself if you can. If anything we said sounded good tonight, uh, to you, then maybe go see. I, I don't know how much luck you're going to have finding this. I, I guess I can say I've never seen this on a bar anywhere. So this might be one of those it weird ones where I might have to say, you might just have to go buy you a bottle if you want to try it. But yeah. Get your buddy, everybody throw in 10 bucks. Um, <laughs> What's in that? good shape. I mean, no. All right, if you, get, if you got more than one buddy. I mean, two buddies, 10 bucks will buy a bottle. That's what I was saying. Oh, no, I wasn't listening. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Until next time. <laughs> Whether it be the replacement friends you're looking oh, for. Oh, the food you're eating. The clothes you're wearing. Oh, the people you're meeting. Then grab a buddy and just, you know, try something. No. Very mellow. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, uh, thanks for watching. I mean, we, we really appreciate it. If you've made it this far, that's like a thing. Most people like tune out as soon as it goes down, did it down, the curtain I mean, falls. That's what I do. So, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs>
But hey, if you made it this far, like and subscribe down below. Click on one of those other videos you see down there somewhere that Lau took so much time to put on there. And uh, maybe go follow Hot Channel Every for us too. single episode, I craft what video gets put at the bottom personally for each video, for each person. So I spend so much time on it. Cheers.